At this point, we have blended data from a large variety of different sources, some cloud-based, some on-premise. As a next step, we demonstrate that nine data handling capabilities go beyond simply accessing the data. We show how easy it is to switch from one computing context to another. First, we connect to Hive and upload our data to the distributed file system. Our cluster is hosted in the cloud on Amazon AWS. At this point, we could use any of the nine database nodes to interact with the data directly in database. Next, we create a new Spark context via Apache Livy and convert the incoming Hive query to a Spark data frame. We can now use the nodes included in the NIME extension for Apache Spark for both data transformation and machine learning. Building on this, we launch a new H2O sparkling water context and create an H2O frame from our Spark data frame. In turn, this allows us to use the powerful H2O machine learning library directly in our Spark cluster. After we are done, we can easily transform the data back to a NIME table, so we are right back where we started. But we are not done yet. For this example, we decided that our final data set should be stored in Amazon S3 and that it should be stored as a Parquet file. This ensures compatibility with the various data processing frameworks in the Hadoop ecosystem. Next, we aggregate our data and append the results to a Google Sheet. This provides us with an easy access documentation that is updated every time this workflow is run. The authentication happens via a browser pop-up directly via Google. No need to store your Google's credentials in the workflow. As a last step, we connect to a Kafka cluster. We then send the data to the selected Kafka topic. This makes our results available to every other application that consumes messages from this topic in a streaming fashion. 